Hi, I'm Bruce Trock. I'm a professor of urology, epidemiology, and oncology at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. And I'm the director of the Prostate Cancer Biorepository Network. And what this is is a collaboration between Johns Hopkins, New York University School of Medicine, and the Department of Defense to systematically collect high-quality prostate tissue and related samples from men with prostate cancer and also men without prostate cancer and collect these samples in a way uh, that yields very high quality information that can be used by researchers around the world. One of the biggest impediments to progress uh, in using biomarkers to help us make clinical decisions in prostate cancer is that when we look across the field and we look at multiple studies that have looked at the same issues or the same biomarker, there's so much variability in results because people have not used standard standardized methods, the way they've collected samples has been different, the types of patients they've collected them from have been different, and these factors haven't been taken account of when looking at the results of studies based on these samples. So by developing a repository in a systematic way where we standardize our methods, where we get very high quality data on the clinical characteristics and the, <coughs> excuse me, the outcomes of the men who provide these samples, and then work with investigators around the world so that they can de design the studies using these samples in the same kind of high quality standardized way. We can make better progress on being able to use these biomarkers to help us make better clinical decisions, to help us understand prostate cancer, and to help us treat it more effectively.